Nearly 200 earthquakes were recorded in Yellowstone National Park. This morning, hundreds of small earthquakes were detected under Mount Rainier. Yellowstone and Mount Rainier, the giants awake. July 11, 2025, early morning tremors. Today, the ground beneath America's most famous volcanic landscape stirred once again, sending subtle yet chilling reminders of the forces sleeping below. The USGS has just reported a swarm of over 200 earthquakes shaking Yellowstone National Park, while Old Faithful erupted unexpectedly, spraying boiling water and dense steam skyward before dawn. Simultaneously, Mount Rainier in Washington State was rattled by a powerful earthquake swarm, the largest it has seen in over a decade. Largest earthquake swarm that we have on record, or is it just the largest we've seen? Yellowstone's earthquake swarm. Seismologists monitoring the Yellowstone caldera were stunned by the sudden spike in activity this morning. The 200 earthquakes were mostly small, measuring between magnitude 1.2 and 2.7, concentrated around the Norris Geyser Basin and extending towards the Upper Geyser Basin, where Old Faithful sits. Although earthquake swarms are common in Yellowstone, averaging 1,500 3,000 quakes per year, such concentrated bursts in a short window often raise concern about underlying stress changes or fluid migration. Old Faithful's Sudden Eruption Amid The seismic rumbles, Old Faithful erupted at an unexpected interval, hours earlier than predicted, catching visitors off guard. The iconic geyser spewed columns of steam and scalding water nearly 50 meters into the cold dawn air, creating an eerie scene of boiling mist swirling under the rising sun. Rangers evacuated the immediate viewing area as a precaution though. No injuries were reported. Scientists explain that earthquake swarms can subtly alter underground hydrothermal pathways, increasing steam pressure that triggers premature eruptions. For Old Faithful, such a deviation in its cycle is a reminder that even the most predictable forces of nature have hidden chaos beneath their beauty. Mount Rainier's deep quake, swarm. Hundreds of miles west, Mount Rainier, the towering stratovolcano in Washington's Cascades, has also been restless. Since July 8th, seismic instruments recorded over 300 earthquakes beneath its summit, the strongest measuring magnitude 2.3 occurring at depths of two to six kilometers. The current swarm has become the largest Rainier has experienced since 2009. Residents in nearby communities like Ashford, Enumclaw and Orting reported feeling faint vibrations, though no damage was reported. Park authorities assured that the volcano remains at normal green alert level and that the quakes are likely caused by deep hydrothermal fluid movements rather than magmatic intrusion. Scientific analysis. Are these giants connected? Volcanologists emphasize that Yellowstone and Mount Rainier are not directly connected being separated by over 800 miles. However, the simultaneous seismicity is a testament to the broader tectonic forces shaping the Western United States. Yellowstone. The 200 quake swarm 
is consistent with tectonic fault adjustments and hydrothermal fluid movements, typical for Yellowstone's active geothermal system. Old Faithful's early eruption aligns with sudden underground pressure changes. There are no indications of rising magma or changes in ground deformation that would hint at an impending volcanic eruption. Mount Rainier. The earthquake. Swarm is interpreted as background seismicity linked to hydrothermal system adjustments, not direct magma migration. Similar swarms occurred in 2009, 2011 and 2020, none leading to eruptive events. Greater Perspective, America's Volcanic Vigil Despite today's dramatic sequence of tremors and eruptions, both Yellowstone and Mount Rainier remain calm by geological standards. Yet these events remind us that the Earth beneath our feet is alive, dynamic, and ever-changing. Yellowstone supervolcano remains under constant USGS monitoring. Its last cataclysmic eruption occurred 640,000 years ago. But smaller hydrothermal explosions and earthquake swarms occur frequently as part of its natural cycle. Mount Rainier, while dormant since its last eruption in the mid-1800s, is considered the most dangerous volcano in the continental United States, not for explosive potential alone, but due to its thick glacial ice, which could produce devastating lahars affecting tens of thousands downstream. As dawn broke over the steaming terraces of Yellowstone, the ground beneath roared with 200 silent quakes, shaking its ancient bones. Old Faithful, stirred by hidden pulses, rose early in a burst of scalding power, its breath drifting like ghostly veils across the geyser basin. Hundreds of miles away, Mount Rainier quivered under a restless swarm, its icy crown unbroken but whispering the deep language of the earth. Today, America's sleeping giant spoke once more, not in fury, but in quiet reminders that under the still forests and tranquil valleys lie the roaring engines of creation. For now, they sleep again, but each tremor is a note in nature's unfinished symphony, echoing through time, waiting for its crescendo.